Hello and welcome to a new video on this channel. Today I would like to show you another mod that is very helpful, especially for those who create similar projects that I do. I'm talking about the Structure Mover. The Structure Mover allowed me to move set pieces in my show The Lion King smoothly from one point to another. I've commissioned this mod, yeah, I think over three years ago uh, on Fiverr and I actually never really planned on publishing it. But yeah, I've changed my mind on that matter and I will explain a bit more about that at the end of the video. But for now, let's actually concentrate on the mod and the feature of the mod. So first of all, for the installation, it's fairly simple. The only thing you need is Minecraft Java for 1.12.2 installed as well as Forge for 1.12.2. If you have these installed, you don't need any more additional mods. The work works standalone without any core modifications or whatever. Just download the mod from my Curse Forge page. The link for that is in the description and then put it in the mods folder. And once Forge is installed and everything's ready, you are ready to go. And when you're in the game, you might have noticed that there's nothing really new to this mod, nothing like nothing added or whatever. It's essentially just a command. There's nothing, no guidance or anything, um, no GUI or any sort of um, help that gives you an idea on how the mod works. It just works with one command and I'm going to just show you how that command works. So on the screen you can now see the command, how it works essentially without any um, sort of values in it. And I will just go through the command now and explain you how it works. So for the first two areas, we essentially just want to mark the, the, or the first few values that you need are essentially the coordinates of the area or the structure that you move, uh, that you want to move. So if you have just a very simple structure like this, the areas just, or the, the corners of this are essentially this area and this area or just this block and this block. If it starts to get bigger, it's this block and this block because it's sort of in this it's in this area. It's, it's similar to world edit essentially. You just have to mark it. So if we go slash SM and you can just press tap, tap, tap. You got the first coordinates. Oops. You can also just look by pressing F3 and you can also see it here. But that's the easy way to just oops, tap, tap, tap. And then you have the, the first area, essentially this area marked. And now we want to set the offset value. You want to, we want to decide in which direction the whole, I would say, structure should move. And for the first test, let's just move it up two blocks. So we don't want to go anywhere in the X direction. So we just put a zero. We want to go two blocks up. We don't want to go anywhere in the Z or Z direction. Now we only have to add the speed of the whole um, animation. So if you just press zero, it will instantly just go up. Let's remove this one more time and repeat it. And now let's add, let's say a 20. That's 20 ticks is one second. So this should only take one second. And that's essentially how the mod works. If we did do it with, I don't know, 100, we have five seconds and it will slowly move up. If you want to have it move, um, I mean, we can also just do the following. Let's move it up one more time. And we all know that it's not two blocks high up. So if we change this one to six and this one to six, go with minus two, it will move back down. And the good part is it will automatically stay in blocks as soon as, soon as the model or the movement is done. So. Now you can still act on it. The lighting will work perfectly fine. You don't have any sort of, um, yeah, it's not a model. It's just normal blocks. And if you move them, it's just going to be the three blocks. If you change it, it will just move everything that is in this area. And that's very useful. If you do it for a curtain, for example, I've just built this little construction over here. We do the same thing, SM. Go up here, mark that command. And I think it's nine blocks up that I need to go. Let's do 250. And now you can see the curtain moves up smoothly and that's very nice. It's very, um, yeah, it's very smooth, <laughs> essentially. It's not real blocks actually, you can't destroy them, but you still can't fly through them, which is also very nice. You can also stand on them and move down. It doesn't work the other way around. So if you, I can just show you this in a second. If you move it up, you will fall through the structure, sadly. Um, and it won't move you up. 
but if you are in below it you can just you know it's i don't know it works in one direction um, but it cannot really take you up somewhere let's do one more example but this time we actually move the whole thing to this direction and not just up. mark the area and if you don't know in which direction you you are heading you can either just look at it and you see then you're to looking towards positive x so that means if you want this to move in that direction you would have to add a positive value in this case let's say three zero zero or let's actually do one zero so you can actually see that it can do multiple movements at once or multiple directions now you can see it moves slowly up right up there and that's actually it you can move in all the different directions you can um, i honestly don't know how big the structure can be um, I usually have like two dimensional sort of structures that are like curtains, but I also have some bigger structures that usually work, um, but I haven't checked out at which size this whole thing could break down, I don't know. There are generally a few limitations that I will just show you now. Um, first of all, stained glass in any sort of way does not properly work while moving. I think it's essentially just semi-transparent blocks, so blocks that you can see through but still have a color that just won't work if we have a look at this you can see it just looks like i don't know red concrete or something um, and it goes back as soon as it's done same goes for any sort of blocks that have nbt sort of data in it so if you have like i don't know a chest full of blocks and you move the whole thing up i believe the chest is actually still there and it will pop up in just a second yep it's there but the blocks won't be moved and um, same goes if you place signs and then write something on it um, if you place doors they will get broke if you place item frames or paintings all these sort of things that have like sort of specific values sort of in them they won't work you should only use it with normal blocks um, stuff like iron bars and fences they work as well though they not they are not going to be connected while moving as you can see here so if you're planning to do sort of gate for your castle or whatever um, you won't really get the effect that you probably want to achieve but still even with these limitations um, I would say this mod is still pretty impressive it's super simple but also really reliable and I have had barely had any problems with mod I can imagine that most people already turned off the video <laughs> because uh, they just started working with the mod which is absolutely perfectly fine but if you're still here, thank you very much. Um, as I said earlier, I wanted to say a few words about why I published this mod or especially why I do it now. Um, for those who don't know, a few years ago, I started a pretty ambitious project trying to recreate the musical The Lion King in Minecraft. And such a show would also need moving set pieces. That was completely clear for me and I wanted to have smooth set pieces. So there was a modification required that should allow me to easily move my curtains and set pieces up and down on stage and off stage and i looked through a lot of mod lists and and websites and whatever asked on different forums but i couldn't find a fitting mod sure there was like the create mod but it wasn't for 1.12 and there was just no modification with the features that i required so i started looking for developers i started to ask old friends who worked for minecraft or in minecraft modding i researched on modded minecraft discord servers um, but had pretty much no success many people just instantly told me that it's not going to work, it's not possible. Um, I even started to look out on Fiverr, like to pay someone to actually do it. Um, but even those either gave up very quickly or just denied from, from the beginning. Um, there was just one person at some point who, who asked or told me that he could try it, um, or he was confident or she was confident enough to try it. And it was a French developer named Mava Tilde. I hope I pronounced that correct. So she told me that she could probably pull it off and she absolutely did it. Um, it took a while still. This may sound like a story that took maybe a week or so, but this whole process of finally being able to use the mod took months and, and it took a lot of frustration and, and a lot of money and time. Um, a lot of ups and downs and moments where I thought now I finally solved it and then it didn't work and yeah. When it finally worked, it was something very, very unique and people hadn't seen that before. Um, and in order to keep it that way, I, I always denied any sort of request about the mod. At that time, I said, I want to keep it private. 
But time has passed and it's, I think, nearly three years since the release of my project on YouTube. People have started figuring out other methods to pull it off and with the use of little tiles or the model block feature of Blockbuster, at this point pretty much anything is possible. You can do any sort of, of movement and animation and um, the mod is only one option of many now. Um, and at this point I don't see a reason why I should keep it secret from the public. It might help a few people to pull off some cool effects, especially those who are not that familiar with complex little tiles models or blockbuster models or people who just want to have simple structures moved in a nice fashion without building crazy constructions or models um, or structures in, in little tiles. So I hope it will help you. Um, and I would actually say that's it for today. Um, let me know if you have any questions or problems regarding the mod. And also feel free to join our Discord and yeah, show us what you have achieved with the mod. I would love to see some creations um, and I would say see you next time. Bye bye.